Signs he's not into you. In this video, I'm gonna tell you the signs that a guy just doesn't like you. It's Sabrina, your personal love advisor from A New Mode, the channel where we show you how love actually works. Not knowing how a guy feels about you can be extremely frustrating. You really like this guy, you wanna know that he likes you back, and sometimes it seems like he does, but a lot of the times it seems like he doesn't, and you just have no idea where you stand with this guy. Don't worry, I am going to explain everything to you. I am gonna tell you the exact signs that a guy is just not that into you, and I will also tell you how to know for sure that a guy is into you. So if you're ready to learn, type I'm ready right now in the comment section while the intro plays. Before I begin, I have a small favor to ask. If you like this video, if you like any of my videos, if you like relationship advice, please give me a like, please subscribe to this channel, ring the bell so you get notified when we post new videos and leave me a comment letting me know what you think, letting me know what other topics you want me to cover, anything you wanna say. I read all the comments and I try to respond to each and every one of them. Okay, let's get into it. First, I wanna make the very important point about how to know if a guy does like you. When a guy likes you, it's obvious. If you have to ask, you already know the answer. When a guy likes you, it's so obvious that it would feel foolish to even ask the question because it's just so obvious. It would be like asking, is my shirt black? I don't, I don't know, I can't tell. It, like, it's just obvious. It's not even up for debate. When he likes you, it is obvious. So why is it so hard? It's because when we like someone and we are emotionally invested, we don't want to see the truth that's staring us right in the face. So we hold on to little pieces of the puzzle and we distort them and turn them into what we want them to mean. We create this vision of how we want things to be. So sometimes he does act like he likes you and you hold on to those things that he does and those texts that he sends and the nice things that he says to you and you grab onto them and you hold on to them for dear life and you use them as proof that you are not crazy he does like you this is a real relationship and you are gonna make this work no matter what you have to do other times a guy does like you he just doesn't like you enough to want to be in a relationship with you and this is where it gets really confusing because he's not letting you go but he's also not taking things in a meaningful direction you're just kind of in this relationship no man's land the beginning should just feel effortless and fun if what you have is stressful and drama filled and you are just banging your head against the table trying to figure out where this guy's head is at that's a big red flag and that's a big sign that you are with a guy who just doesn't like you enough okay but let's get into it and let's talk about the 11 signs that a guy just doesn't like you number one he's wishy-washy some days it seems like he is super into you he is obsessed with you other times he disappears for days or weeks at a time you really have no idea what's going on with this guy you have no idea any minute the rug could just be pulled out from under you he basically only sees you on his time when he's into you he's super into you when he wants to see you he wants to see you but other times he's just not there this is a clear sign that you are just an option to him and guys love having options guys love you know single guys love playing the field seeing what's out there until a girl comes along who really really blows them away so if that's how he's behaving that's a pretty strong sign that he's just not into you enough but he still likes you to keep you around so essentially what's going on here is he likes you he just doesn't like you enough to want to be in a relationship with you but there is a spark of something there that he just doesn't want to let go of just yet number two you are just not a priority too busy really just means you're you're not important enough to make time for because when a guy likes you he makes time it doesn't matter how busy his schedule is how slammed he is he makes time he pursues you he is there so if a guy you could be a guy that you're casually seeing but let's say he makes dates with you but then he just cancels last minute and he there's always something you always feel like you're maybe number three or number four on the priority list you never make it to number one or even number two it just feels like there's always something that's more important to you it feels like you're putting in all the effort in the relationship to the point that you feel like if you stopped putting effort in he would just fade away and you would just never see him again number three he doesn't initiate contact when a guy likes you, he's gonna pursue you and that means he's gonna contact you. This can mean that he texts you or maybe he even calls you. I know that's a rarity these days, but it does happen sometimes. But it could even be if he sees you out, you know, maybe you guys accidentally run into each other or he sees you at a party, he comes over to you. He initiates conversation with you. And not only that, he's not looking for excuses to leave the conversation. He is there and he's present. If he's always the one leaving the conversation first, maybe if you're texting, he says, okay, I gotta go to bed now. Or if you're at a party or out somewhere he says oh I have to go get another drink oh I have to go to the bathroom he's always the one exiting the conversation that's a strong 
sign that he's not into you. Because when a guy is into you, he does not need sleep. He doesn't need to pee. He doesn't need another drink. He is just there and he is fixed and he is focused only on you. And he wants to drag that out as long as possible. The last thing he's gonna do is leave a conversation when things are going well and he's into you. If he is looking for reasons to get out of talking to you, then it means he's probably not that into you. Number four, he says he doesn't want a relationship. Now this applies if you if it's a guy that you're actually dating or hanging out with or whatever it is. He tells you to your face, he does not want a relationship right now or he's not ready for a relationship right now. And when he does that, you know what you should do? You should thank him because that is a very gentlemanly thing to do. But most women don't see it this way. Instead, what most women do is they see this statement as an opening offer that's up for negotiations and she makes it her mission to change his mind and upgrade to relationship status. And then then months down the line, she is heartbroken when after putting in all this effort, after pouring her heart and soul into the relationship, he tells her again, I just don't want a relationship right now. So the point is when a guy says he doesn't want a relationship, believe him, take it at face value. If you want a relationship, then you should not be with that guy anymore because he cannot give you what it is you want. Another piece of this is that he doesn't even want to talk about the relationship. Anytime you try to bring it up, he makes a joke or he deflects or he says he just likes things as they are because some guys aren't going to come out like do the gentlemanly thing, which I said is to tell you that he's just not ready for a relationship. Sometimes a guy might be a little more on the fence, a little more unsure. You don't want to be with someone who's unsure about you, right? I mean, you want somebody who's sure about you. Who's like, yes, this is it. This girl is the one for me. You don't want a guy who's like, eh, I don't know, maybe, maybe, maybe. I just need more time. I need to figure this out and figure that out. If he's just always deflecting, and pushing you off, then that's a strong sign he's just not into you enough. Or maybe he's just not in a place in his life where he can be in a relationship right now. Number five, he isn't interested in learning about you. When we like someone, we can't get enough. We want to know every scar, every scratch, every story. We eat it up and we remember the details. If he just doesn't seem that interested in learning about who you are, it's a strong sign he's just not that interested in you. Maybe he's attracted to you. He likes, you know, complimenting your appearance, but he doesn't really ask you any real meaningful questions about you and who you are. When a guy is interested in a woman, he shows interest in her. That means he's interested in everything about her. Number six, he is just not around. When a guy likes you, you just notice that he's around. If you're dating, that means that he's there. He's texting you. He's making an effort. He's making his presence known. If you, this is a guy you're not dating and you're just not sure, does he like me or not? If he does like you, he'll just find a way to be around you. If you are in the same room, maybe you're at a party, maybe you're out somewhere, he'll find a way to float into your direction. He will be in your orbit. He will find questions to ask you. He will text you the most random things that he could have texted anyone, but he's just looking for excuses to talk to you. He'll just find a reason to be close to you. He'll come up with something, trust me. Number seven, he doesn't care who you're hanging out with. If a guy likes you, this could be if you're dating in a relationship, you wanna be in a relationship with this guy and you don't really know where you stand. I mean, I've had plenty of experience with those guys where it just seemed like they liked me, but nothing was happening. So I'm speaking to you if you're in that situation. Basically, if he doesn't care what guys you're hanging out with, or you mentioned like, oh yeah, I was hanging out with Mike last week and it doesn't even register to him. There's not even like a flicker of like jealousy or tension or being upset or anything. It's just a sign that he's not into you. Men are competitive. And if you're mentioning guys and you're hanging out with guys, you're, you're posting pictures of yourself with guys on your Instagram account, he's gonna raise his eyebrows about that. You know, he's gonna be intrigued and he's gonna wanna know what's going on and who you're hanging out with. If he's not into you, he's just not gonna care. Number eight, he talks to you about other women. And I have a great story about this one. So a while back, I met this guy. He was actually my roommate's cousin and we headed off right away. Um, super attracted to each other, electric chemistry. And we started talking all the time. We were talking on Gchat, we were talking on text and we would try to hang out, but like it never really happened. And he would put in the bare minimum effort and I also had a lot going on and it just wasn't happening, but definitely much more on his end than mine. I would have been more accommodating. Then he started talking to me about other girls. Like he would call me to talk about other girls. And I was like, oh, I know what he's doing. He likes me and he's too scared to ask me out. So he's trying to make me jealous by talking about these other girls. And I would like, play along with it and give him advice and whatever. And eventually one of those girls became his girlfriend. And I was like, oh my God, he wasn't just trying to make me jealous. Like he was actually talking to me as a friend and trying to get advice from me because yeah, I uh, totally misread that situation. He actually did end up becoming one of my best friends and um, one of the guys that I've interviewed a lot for a lot of the content that I've written about. And essentially the situation was exactly as it was like things aren't usually some other mysterious way than what they appear to be he was super attracted to me i was attracted to him he just didn't see us 
as a couple and I'm and getting to know him further. I mean, yeah, no, that definitely never would have worked out. But it's just funny that in my mind, I was like, oh yeah, he's trying to make me jealous, but he just wasn't at all. Like he was attracted to me, but he just saw me as a friend. The end. So the point is, don't make things more complicated than they are. If he's talking to you about other women, then it most likely means he just isn't interested in dating you because a guy, unless he's like a real player, insecure, weird guy. And you don't want to date a guy like that anyway. If he's talking, to, like, this is something that we do. We make things so much more complicated than they need to be. Sometimes the most obvious answer is the correct answer. Number nine, he treats you the same as everyone else. Now I've discussed this before, how some guys are just flirty by nature and they flirt with everyone. But if a guy likes you, the way he flirts with you is gonna be different. If a guy likes you, the way he treats you is gonna be different. He's just gonna be different around you because you're different to him. You, if he likes you, that's a really special thing. He's not gonna treat you the same as everyone else. Number 10, he doesn't open up to you. If a guy likes you, he will show some vulnerability with you or some realness with you. He will take that mask down a little bit, whatever degree he's comfortable with, and really talk to you and let you in and let you learn about who he is. If a guy doesn't do this, then it's a strong sign that he just wants to keep this relationship casual surface level. It's hard to open up and be vulnerable. When we do this, we're really investing in the other person. We're investing in them and trusting them to not use that against us and to not hurt us. And that's a, that's a, that's a big deal, especially to a lot of guys. But I do want to caution you to beware of emotionally leaky people. That is guys who just open up to you about everything. Like as soon as you meet them, I, I went out with this guy a while ago. It was, I think our third date. And he told me a secret that he had not told anybody in his entire life. He was like, I just feel so close to you. I feel like I can open up to you. And it, freaked me out. Oh my goodness. I just thought it was the strange thing. Cause it was a big secret. It was a really big secret. I'm not going to tell you guys what it was, but it was a really big secret. And I was very freaked out about it. And he was a very emotionally unstable person. So yeah. Number 11, you just know, like I said in the beginning, we're coming full circle here. When a guy likes you, it's obvious. You just know if you feel like he doesn't like you, if you feel like he's not prioritizing you, if you feel like he's just not investing in you, it's because he probably doesn't like you. Usually, you know, the truth, the majority of the time when women come to me with their questions, they already know the answer. They don't need me. They know it. They just don't want to know it. They don't want to admit that they know it. They want to just hope that they're wrong. And that's what they're holding on to that glimmer of hope that maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm wrong. Most of the time you're not wrong. You know, the truth. Here's a good exercise. Ask yourself right now, is he on the same page as me in this relationship and wait for the answer. It'll come to you. Your gut will tell you what the answer is. You'll feel it. You'll feel it deep inside. So if you don't know how he feels about you, give that a try and let me know how it works out for your own comments. And if you have any questions, if you have any, any feedback, if you've seen any of my other videos, you know that I read all of your comments. I try to answer all of them. I love engaging with you guys. So please leave me a comment. And if you like this video, please give it a like subscribe. There you have it. The definitive signs that he does not like you. I know it's a hard pill to swallow, especially when our ego gets involved. That makes, makes it even harder to swallow that pill, but it's so important to just recognize and accept the truth for what it is. And then you can free yourself to move on to a guy who really does like you for who you are. I've lived through this many times. And in hindsight, I can clearly see that the guys who liked me were the guys who liked me and the guys who didn't like me were the guys who didn't like me. And of course you waste so much more time on the guys who didn't like you than the guys that do like you. So just save yourself all this mental energy and heartache and just accept that if he doesn't like me, that's okay. I'll be fine. I'll find somebody who does love and appreciate me for who I am. The best thing that you can do is just focus on being your best self. If you do that, then you'll attract the right guy for you. And then there's nothing else to think about. You already know you're living your most authentic life. You're being your best self. You are, have found your own happiness. You're not relying on anyone to make you happy. And that's really all you can do. Okay. I hope you love this video. Please share your thoughts in the comment section, subscribe, give me a like. And if you want to learn more, you can read the full article. The link is in the description description box. And for more relationship advice, check out anumo.com and more videos on this channel. And I will see you guys next time.